Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, makeup, skincare, vlogs, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So today I'm doing another tag video and I was tagged by Carmen Centrix. I will leave her channel linked down below and this tag is Confessions of a Perfume Collector. Hmm, is this gonna be juicy? It might be. <laughs> So the first question is, what is your cheapest perfume? My cheapest perfume is by Swiss Arabian, and this is Shagaf Amar. Shagaf Oud Amar. And this one is like $30. And this one is a dupe for Herba Pure. So now I have a couple of dupes of, of, of Herba Pure that have been sent to me. And girl, we tired. We is tired of the Herba Pure dupes. Like, I actually like Herba Pure now. I done tried the dupes and wearing them, and I'm like, oh, okay, I like it now. So I might as well go on and give me a bottle of Herba Pure, but I got two dupes of it, so I really don't need it. But girl, they need to stop duping this. We, we're done. We're we tired, boss. We is tired. So I'll definitely link it for you if you're looking for a Herba Pure dupe. And this was nice and long lasting and it's super affordable. So you can spray, spray, spray for your life. So the next question is, what is the most expensive perfume in your collection? Whether uh, How much you paid or retail value, I guess whichever one is higher. Um, the most expensive fragrances in my collection that I actually pay full retail price for would be uh, Tribeca by Bond Number no. 9 and Greenwich Village. So I actually ordered both of these at the same time directly from the Bond website. And I believe they were new drops when I, when I got them. I don't know. But I know I ordered both of these from directly from Bond Number no. 9 and they were both $440 a piece. So these are the most expensive fragrances in my collection that I actually pay full price for. But I think the most expensive in my collection that I did not pay for is Talea by Tenziana Terenzi. Next question, how many full size bottles do you have that are one ounce or bigger? So I had to count and I have 218 bottles and I got like 10 more coming so so it's time to use some and get some out of here i do have some in my empties so yeah i, I have been going through my fragrances y'all know i like to empty my fragrances and i do have some empties but i got more coming and that's why i have to empty some but yeah right now i'm at 218 next question is have you ever received a weird comment about your scent um yeah girl one night if you watch my vlogs you already know this story but one day we was going on date night and honey i put on oofa greatness and i just knew that i smelled good all the girls was like no oofa greatness is that girl it is this it's that it's sexy it's this da, da, da. so i sprayed it now they did say don't spray a lot now but when i was spraying it i was like i mean it ain't a beast mode to me like i'm not choking or nothing you know what i'm saying like it smell all right but you know I, it ain't loud enough for me so how i normally do right so we go on our day night you know blah 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 and we in the car mind you we like probably like four hours into the day at this point we don't went to eat and everything we in the car and dad was like um uh, what what you perfume you got on today so I pulled Oof for Greatness out of my bag, you know, thinking I'm putting him up on game. I'm like, yeah, it's called Oof for Greatness. It's by Initio. You know, I'm all like, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, um, with them ooze, you ain't got to spray too much of that. I was like, is it loud, babe? He was like, yeah, and you smell like a man. I was like, do I? He was like, yeah, it's, it's giving, it's giving church deacon. It's giving, yeah, you in, in the front pew and you Deacon Clark, Deacon Johnson or something like that. It's, it's, it's giving church deacon man when i tell you we was screaming we was laughing so hard because i thought i was like sexy i thought it was so you know all of that and he like mm -mm, baby that one ain't neat that one ain't neat and i love him i love that we can laugh about stuff like that but baby i ain't wore oof for greatness since i have not worn this since i still like the way it smells and it still doesn't seem like strong beast mode to me but i guess you know to other noses it's beast mode and he has a good nose like he smells stuff way before i do and yeah i commend him for going the whole four hours with me smelling like a church deacon but yeah girl so i'm just gonna use this to like you know dash and layer with things or whatever but going all in like i did yeah i ain't finna do that no more because i don't want to smell like a church deacon now do you ever wear perfume for cuddle time which one absolutely i wear perfume every night <laughs> to bed to netflix and chill to cuddle to whatever we doing like laying on the couch doing absolutely nothing i still have on a perfume which one i have several 
in the house type of fragrances and bedtime fragrances and all of that so if y'all want to see bedtime fragrances or just chill in the house type of fragrances girl i got a slew of them okay because we we always in the house like we're always going to be in the house you we got fragrances for out and about but you gotta have fragrances for in the house so yeah i really can't name like just one like whatever it is i tell y'all i wear to bed um or i just wear around the house like those are the fragrances that i would have on probably during cuddle time and all of that how many sprays do you spray the fact that we're counting sprays is a, is an issue for me <laughs> like why are we counting sprays i don't count sprays and if you ain't new here you probably know that like i am spraying to the gods okay the next question is where do you spray i've told y'all this before when i told y'all in that video how to use up your fragrances i spray my whole entire body after i lotion and oil and butter up or whatever i'm doing for the day spray my whole entire body and i spray all over my clothes so i don't count how many sprays i'm definitely not a one two three four girl i should have been with that over greatness now <laughs> should have been but that's just not my character I can't do it so you know I'm still gonna spray ooh for greatness but maybe just not as much <laughs> do you buy backup bottles no it's not necessary for me I have so many fragrances by the time I finish a fragrance I'm ready to move on to other things anyway if I want to repurchase that fragrance I'll repurchase it but having backup bottles just isn't necessary I see a lot of people that have backup bottles but the bottle they have open is still full so you got the full bottle then you got two backups and they just all sitting there just looking at you and you looking at them and they looking at you and you ain't even wearing it child so I ain't doing that once I finish a fragrance I'm I'm, I'm probably now I wouldn't say necessarily over that scent profile but I had my fun with it and now I'm moving on to the next thing you know what I'm saying if I want to repurchase it I'll just repurchase it but I have so many fragrances it's really no reason for me to have backups like it's not do you show your collection to family and friends no I don't show it specifically to family and friends but being on the internet I mean the world gets to see it so you know if they want to see it they can go on my Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and all of that and see it if they want to but is anybody coming over my house looking at my perfume no mm -mm. no ma'am the only person that's actually seen it in person will probably be my mother-in-law that's it <laughs> next question is does your partner slash spouse know how much you spend on fragrances I personally would say yes um because my man was into niche fragrances way before I was like I didn't even know the difference between niche and designer I would just buy stuff that I can get at Macy's or Sephora or Ulta like so I was a designer girl and I was just you know doing my thing had my little 10 fragrances and I was cool but he always went to you know high more high-end department stores he was wearing um MFK Creed um bond and all that stuff like way before i even knew what niche was so he been on it and a funny story is when i found out about baccarat when lotto was like i smell like money and baccarat fendi space boots like an astronaut i was like oh i want to smell like money and baccarat you know what i'm saying i want to smell like that too i'm like babe have you ever heard of baccarat he's like the game or the perfume i was like the perfume well he said cologne but i was like the the cologne and he was like the one upstairs and i was like upstairs when i tell y'all i was in the olympics as fast as i ran upstairs to go smell it girl he had the the original and the extra i was like what well how come i ain't know nothing about he like babe i've been wearing like been wearing this the box he got so many mfks and i'm just like girl clueless clueless so i sprayed it i was like oh this is nice so y'all know me i'm not really the sharing type so i went on the mfk website and ordered br540 br540 the extra and gentle fluidity gold because he had all of them i was like i want my own bottles i want my own and order all of them girl so when he comes in here and looks at the girl he know how much this stuff costs he'll look at the bond shelf like mm -hmm. yeah this look this look about this looks like about four grand right here babe you, you got about four grand right here on this shelf i'm like no babe you know see a lot of these i got from the discount site you know i only paid full price for a couple of them he'd be like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah he's definitely been into niche so he knows how much is going on like he don't know about the newer brands but if it's in like a department store he know about it so yeah he don't care he'd be like as long as you happy you know what i'm saying and you you know he's he's cool <laughs> next question is do you plan on collecting more um 
yeah um yeah i mean i feel like i, I got more fragrances coming so yeah I'm, i feel like i'm always going to be adding new stuff to my collection i don't feel like i'm necessarily a collector because i'm not necessarily trying to buy everything in a certain house just because i'm a collector like i really just want stuff in my collection that i want in my collection now of course i get things sent to me and everything is not you know for me and that's okay um but the things i actually purchase with my own money are things that i actually want and you know i'm good with that and i'm always gonna want something new <laughs> so yeah I, I can always see myself collecting more but 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 y'all know i use up my fragrances too now so you know as things are coming in things are going out you know it's got to be a balance so yeah then the next part of that question is or do you see yourself quitting anytime soon i can say that my spending on fragrances has definitely decreased from how i was like in 2022 2022 i was buying everything when i say everything i mean everything i was buying everything okay 2023 um it started to decrease and then towards the end of 2023 i really wasn't buying a lot um as much money as i spent on my fragrance collection brands started to see me and started to send me things and then i really didn't have to buy as much um i still have to buy what i want and so i still you know of course spend money on what i want but i don't have to spend as much because i'm also receiving things um and you know so that tickles my fancy enough sometimes where i'm like oh i don't have to buy anything new because i got these new ones over here so yeah so i don't see myself like i said quitting anytime soon but my spending has definitely decreased because i'm just loving on my stash you know what i'm saying like i'm loving on my collection i'm loving what i have i'm wearing what i have i'm enjoying things i haven't touched in a while enjoying new things so yeah i really don't have to spend that much anymore thank you jesus where do you see your collection in 20 years girl a lot smaller because shoot i'm gonna be about 65 then so honey i ain't gonna need that many uh perfumes then now and i'm gonna be on my way to the upper room and like i told y'all people ain't gonna love your collection the way you love your collection so you better wear them fragrances okay because if anything happened to me my daughter gonna smell half of this stuff and be like mm -mm, that smell like an old lady mm -mm, that's stink. uh-uh this what is this what is ooh she, she mm -mm. girl she gonna be over there with that Chanel Chance Oh Tondra. Well, she already got that, but that's the type of stuff she gonna be probably be pulling for. I don't know. By then, she might be in her 40s, so, you know, she might have a different type of nose. I don't know, but, yeah, I'm definitely not going to have as many fragrances then because ain't nobody gonna love my fragrances like me when I leave this earth, so, yeah. So those were all the questions in the confessions of a perfume collector thank you so much to carmen for tagging me if you are a fragrance uh youtuber out there do the tag girl i i'm not gonna tag anyone specific everybody just do the tag make sure you tag carmen um and tag me so i can watch it girl because i love to watch y'all videos y'all tag videos it don't matter how big or small your channel is girl please tag me because i love to watch y'all videos just like y'all love to watch mine so thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.